This gray bar that we see on the screen that goes across the top of our drawing area is called the options bar. Whenever we're executing a wall command, and we can do that by coming underneath the architecture tab, selecting on the word wall, and picking wall architectural, it will give us a variety of different options associated with that command. The first option will be height. And if we choose height off the list, it'll give us a wall that goes up from the level that this wall is being drawn at. If we choose depth, it'll give us a wall that goes down from the level that the wall is being drawn at. Depth is a good example of a foundation wall, while height is a good example of an exterior wall on the outside of your building. Choose height off of the list because we're going to draw some walls that go up. Basically, the warning is saying is that this wall is going to go up and it wants you to be aware of it. The next one over is, do we want this wall to go up to a certain level or do we want to give it an unconnected height? If we choose a certain level, then that wall will go from the level that we're currently drawing the wall on up to the level that we choose. On the other hand, if we select unconnected, we could then type in the dimension that we want for this wall. It won't be restricted to a specific level. It'll be whatever height that we tell that wall to be. In this instance, let's type in 12. So the wall will be a 12 foot tall wall when we finally draw it. There's an option that says location line. We'll take a look at what location line does here in just a moment. But let's start the process of actually drawing a wall in. If you click once and move over toward your right hand side, if the location line was telling us that this was going to go down the wall center line, this dashed line that shows up right there would be going right down the center of the wall. In my case, it's finished face of exterior. So that blue dashed line that shows up is on the finished face of the exterior side of my wall. If I click once to place it, we can see that the wall is drawn in. I'm going to hit escape on my keyboard once, move up here, in this case, I'll select wall center line. For many of you, yours may have defaulted to wall center line before. But you'll notice that if I start to draw a wall now, then now that dashed line is right down the wall center line of my wall. I'm going to click again, hit escape to get out of the command. I'm going to execute the command one more time. Now, some of the other available here are the core center line which is different from the center line of the wall because the core center line will give us a line right down the center of the structural part of the wall. Finish face exterior and finish face interior, that will allow us to draw the wall based off the finished materials on either the exterior side or the interior side of our walls. Core face exterior and core face interior, that will draw our wall based on the structural elements inside of the wall. In other words, if this wall had CMU block, it'd be off the face of the block. If this wall was made up of 2x4s, 2x6s, then it would be to the face of the studs of the wall, and that would be the core faces of those. And what I mentioned before, which is the core center line, that would be the center of those structural members inside of the wall. The next option there is chain. Chain allows you to draw one wall after another. And you can see each time that I click, it immediately draws another wall. If chain is not selected, each time that I click, it'll put a space between each click that I do as I'm drawing my walls in. And of course, if I put chain back on again, it will draw one wall after another. Another option that's there is offset. If we add an offset distance to this, it'll then draw your wall offset that distance away from those two points that you pick. Also, if you hit the space bar while drawing it, it'll flip it to the other side. So if you want the wall to be actually offset, not above the line, but below it, you can hit the space bar, then click in order to be able to place your wall. The final tool up here is gonna be radius. What radius allows us to do is specify a radius whenever two walls are drawn. Hit escape once, let's clear out the radius box, Let's make sure that there's no offset when we're getting ready to draw these walls. Click the radius checkbox now. We can see in this case it's at eight feet. If yours isn't, just highlight in here and type in eight feet. Click once, draw your first wall, then try to make a 90 degree angle and then click again. And you'll see that you'll get a nice big radius between the first wall that you drew and the next wall that you drew. 
So the options bar will assign a variety of different options to these walls, including whether or not the wall goes up or down, whether or not the wall goes from one level to the next level, or just goes to the height that you specify. It also will allow you to draw from the center line of the wall to the finished faces of the wall, or even to the finished face of the structural members on the inside of the wall. Chain allows you to do one wall after another. Offset will mean that when you're drawing your wall, your wall will be offset a certain distance from the spots that you're picking. And then radius will give you this nice clean radius between the first wall that you draw and the last wall that you draw. So the options bar give you a variety of different options related to the walls that you're drawing.